Thanks for tuning in again with Cast Iron Dave here on another episode of Hardcore here, you guys. All right, so as you guys know, we left off. We haven't really done much here. Uh, we actually got ourselves a little cow pan, sheep pan right here. And then I started playing, I started planting these trees right over here. And I was like, man, I just it's too close to my base. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to do that. So I came way over here. And I decided to line up as you guys go. There's a baby zombie, it looks like. Look how fast it runs. All right, let's take care of it. Oh, oh, oh that quick right there. Thought I heard something. All right, so I just made three solid lines over here. Four lines. Five lines. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Ooh, ooh run. What is that? Axe? Sword. It's a enchanted sword, huh? Keep cutting the grass and not it. Ooh, was there a tree behind me? Oh, branch. All right, there we go. So I just made this here, and I said, you know what? I need a bigger tree farm so I can actually collect all my lumber that I need to make my base. I've already collect, uh, collected quite a bit of lumber. Uh, I'm still not ready yet, as you guys can see. There you have it. I got quite a bit. I'm still going to collect more. And over here, I found some lava patch. So I kind of made a little lava section here. And, yep, this is going to be my base right here eventually. So, all right, let's get back to it. I made a little compost here so I can get some bone meal and so forth. And uh, I've been getting sheep here so I can get start getting ready for leather as well as me so I don't run out. And at first, I was actually thinking to make down right here a place for sugar cane so I can get make for paper. As you, you know, so we need for the table. Um, and then I decided it might be smarter to kind of go out a little bit right here. And also make a wheat farm. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So here we have it. We're gonna we're gonna make a wheat farm right here as well. And it's gonna be sitting all above the water, which will make it even better. Alright, so I just finished uh, laying some dirt over here. I can even collect some more, I guess. It doesn't look perfectly square, and I'm a big guy with uh, making things kind of look good. Or at least balanced. All right, so we need this. Here we go. Stone hoe. One more time again. There we have it. I think that should be enough, I would say. Well, let's do, let's just run them all off. All 64 seeds all right now. We got them on us. Might as well use them up. All right, well, I'll do, that'd be good enough. We'll do a little square right here. Actually, I don't like it. See, told you, I need it. Right there. Might as well plant another seed right there as well. There we go. Nice and square. All right. So we got our sugar cane going for paper. We got some uh, wheat over here for our uh, hay so we can feed it to the cows as well as the sheep and whatever else we need it for. And make some torches. Anyone that knows me knows I love torches. I put them there. Oh, 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 no. Oh, let's, let's get them in here. That was a bad idea. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. We got them back in there. All right. All right. It is daytime. I got everything I need to go traveling. So, by the way, as you guys know, I made my main uh, base here because I was next to this village. And the bad thing was the other day, I didn't even realize it. And I had this bad omen on me. And yes, you heard me. The bad omen on me. I walked right through the village without realizing it. And I started a raid. One raid, second raid, third raid, they all came one after another. And well, now there's no more villagers in this village. So I actually was quite disappointed. I was actually quite frustrated that it happened. I was trying to make sure I did not do that. But in the end, I did it. All right, so we're, we're heading out for traveling now. Uh, we actually finally got some meat cooked. We got a furnace just in case I need to cook any other thing as well while i'm away i made myself a bed and i got everything else we need to go on a travel so here we are and we're gonna head out and see what we can find and hopefully we can find a big size cave with some more stuff in it all right we got enough coal now Ooh, fell right back in all right so let's huh? all right let's get out <laughs> all right it is pretty cool how you can be underwater and your eyes slowly adjust to it so you can see better and better. You know, we got some kelp over here. So I'm going to take some of this kelp. I don't know if I really need it for anything, but I might as well grab some since I'm here. Oh, man. I always forget about breathing, man. You guys need to remember breathing in water. 
All right, we found a pretty deep cave in here, you guys. We're going to head down this water uh, since it's safer to head down water. Uh, you don't get hurt. We're going to see what we have down there. I can already see some creepers. This is exciting. This is a real deep cave. I think I may just, yeah, let's get down the water a little bit lower. Okay. Yeah, there we have it. Some creepers, skeletons. All right, it's filled. I'm going to head down there and throw torches everywhere so I can see what we have down here. We got a creeper. All right, well, I'm going to start collecting some of this iron here. I found quite a bit of good chunk right here so what I realized is though we're actually kind of close right next to this uh, stuff called like tough right here and it, I've actually noticed that you find a ton of iron next to that every time almost not only that I've actually found a lot more iron even blocks from this area right here you know, when I first ever started playing this game, it was quite creeper, these endermans. It was just like, what's going to happen with them? Now, what? I looked at them when I put the the, I, the the inventory up. What's going on? Oh, no, I got, why is he running? I didn't look at him, did I? I might have looked at him without even realizing when I put the box up with the inventory. Oh, this is horrible. I'm going to stay in the water. You know what? If I remember, I, I they don't like water. Oh, boy. Ugh. I'm already low on my life. Look at that. I'm so low. I need to eat something to get it up. Oh, where is he? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Did he teleport again? This is too dangerous. This is not good. Oh, it's so hard to see him through the water. Where is he? Behind me? In front of me? I don't even see him anymore. All right, at least my health went back up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Those eyes you can see anywhere. It's like they pierce through you. Oh, man. Unexpected. I don't have a strong armor army or anything and or sword. Oh There we go. We got it. Oh Man, I did not know I looked into his eyes, but apparently I did but that was too close Some excitement I guess some uh, adrenaline rush, but it was taken care of all right Let's go for it All right, as you guys can see I filled up this section of uh, torches everywhere so we can see what is going on here but I tell you what, I mean, I was a little bit afraid there that I may just die. You know, I should have came in with some uh, arrows and bows here, but I didn't bring anything with me. This was bad. Well, it looks like it's nighttime. I'm probably clean up a little area, put some torches here, make sure nothing creeps up on me on the back. You got that right, creeping. Those creepers, man, they come right behind you without even seeing. All right, let's head jump. Woo, down we go. All right, let's uh, gotta take care of these uh, skeletons here. They were attacking me earlier. So, uh, look, look at that, man. He, like, missed all those arrows. That was good. Oh, we got a zombie here. I know there's another skeleton, though. I'd rather take care of the skeleton. They can shoot. I don't see it. Well, I guess we'll just take care of the zombie real quick. One after another. There we go. Drop the... Oh, look at that. We got a slime here. I haven't seen slime yet in the game, but look at that. We got it. Almost looks like they have a little creeper face on them as well. I wonder if there's any more around here. But we'll take that one and we'll take the slime out as well. Uh, we don't need the kelp, so we'll collect the uh, slime. Just because, yes. Oh, we got another zombie just come out of nowhere. Tell you what, these uh, zombies just creep on you as well in these caves. You barely notice them. I tell you what, this is a massive cave. It goes in every direction. It is huge, and it goes even deeper than where I'm at already. Look at that. There's already a diamond. Oh, whoa. Oh, that zombie came right behind me. If he hit me, I would have fallen down and died. Oh, that was scary. Heart is beating quick. All right. So is there anything else? No? All right. So there's actually a diamond down over there, and there's another diamond to the right. Is that luscious or tough? That looks more like a luscious. It's greenish. We may find a lush cave. All right, you guys. Well, either way, we're up. My inventory is full. I don't have nothing else to put in there. So I'm going to head out before I die over there trying to go even lower. Uh, I'm not prepared for that just yet. So here we are. We're going to head back to the base, clean up my inventory, clean up a little bit more, and get ready to come back here. I ran out of food. 
I have no more food on me, at least the first section. So let's head back out there. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next video of hardcore mode you guys it's going to be exciting i tell you what your heart is on a rush almost the whole time because you do not know what's going to happen